So in this example, step number one is covered. Absolute value is isolated, correct? We're good. OK, next step, create our two cases. Now, this one also gets some people messed up. So I am going to do this because you guys can see here, our quantity now is a binomial, right? It's two terms. It's not just one term. So remember, when you're negating an expression, you've got to negate all the terms in the expression. So to show you that, what I'm going to use is parentheses. Okay, You're not just negating the first term. You're negating the whole quantity. So you've got to negate the whole quantity. So you're going to have to apply distributive property. So it actually looks like x minus 2 equals negative 4x minus 8. Okay, Just make sure you're very careful with that. It's a very common mistake. Well, now we can go ahead and solve both of them. So again, we want to get the variable to the same side, right? Using our, make it positive. So I'm going to get the var I'm going to solve for the variable on the right side in this example. So this one will have negative two equals three x plus eight. Then I'll isolate the x, so I'll subtract an eight. So I have negative ten equals three plus or three x. Then I'll divide by three, divide by three. And I have negative 10 over 3 equals x, or x equals negative 10 over 3. In this example, I have a positive x and a negative x. So in this example, I'm going to want to get rid of the negative, negative x. So I can solve for a positive. So I'm going to add a 5x over here. Doing that, I get 6x minus 2 equals negative 8. Then, now I can solve for x. So I'll add a 2. And what I get is 6x equals negative 6. What? I don't know where 5x came from. Maybe I was doing the math in my head. <laughs> I don't know. Divide by 5, divide by 5, x equals negative 6 over 5. Right? OK. But now, ladies and gentlemen, we have to go ahead and um, we're going to want to go ahead and check our answer. OK? Um, so there's a couple things. There's one last thing, actually. I didn't write it down in our notes, which I'll have to write down. Um, now, let's just go ahead and plug in our answer. Okay, And you guys can use your calculator um, with this. This might be helpful, especially with this. You're going to want to plug them in. Now, you guys can see fractions. You're like, oh, this is not going to be fun, right? So, But let's just plug this answer in for x. And actually, before I even get to this, what I'm going to do is I already noticed something here. I'm going to plug x in for um, negative 10 thirds in for x right here. So I'm going to do absolute value equals 4 times negative 10 thirds plus 8. And there's something in the notes I didn't go over. Can I see your calculator? Because yes, you can always plug it in. And when you have fractions, though, that kind of makes the problem a little bit harder. But if we do 4 times negative 10 divided by 3, and then I add 8, that gives me a negative 5.33. I don't, what, it doesn't matter what I plug in here. Can the absolute value, if you guys look over there, does the absolute value ever equal a negative number? Because remember, absolute value represents the absolute distance from 0. I don't care if you go in the positive direction or the negative direction. You still went a distance, right? So absolute value represents distance. You can't go a negative distance, at least the way that in the dimensions we're talking about. Okay? You can't go negative, you can go negative directions, but not negative distance. So as I check my answer, if I plug any it doesn't even matter what you if you plug it in for x and what you get here. It doesn't even matter what the quantity is, because the absolute value of anything is always going to be a positive number. So therefore, this is extraneous. It is not a solution. All right? Over here, if you um, plug this in, I, I we're running out of time. 
I can definitely show it again later or for another example I'll show you guys. But if you plug in negative five or negative six fifths in for x here and for x there and simplify it, it is a solution. Okay, so this one does check out. I'm just running out of time. So maybe maybe we can get you guys.